was it was crazy. I mean, I spoke, you know, in the build up to this fight that I think you're going to see one of the best atmospheres seen in the British arena, and I think we got it. Question before the fight, any predictions? So you're going to stop him inside the distance. Yeah. How's that made you feel? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's what, I think that's what the problem was. You know, I, I was looking for the stoppage too much. You know, loading up, getting frustrated, and trying to force it. But uh, yeah, come out, win, and just move on now. You know just, what I mean? Just done the job. I believe yeah. this is your first six-round fight. Yeah, this is my first six-round. Yeah. Okay, so the transition of <coughs> being gold Commonwealth champion. Yeah. Into the pros now with a step up for a six round fight. Obviously, how are you finding that so far? Yeah, yeah, I found it all right, you know, the rounds and that. Not a problem, I've trained hard for it. You know, uh, just I haven't really had a consistent run of run of, uh, run of fights. It's been a bit stop-start and uh, hoping to get a bit of momentum now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, actually, about Leeds, you know, I mean, being a little bit naive, I, I didn't know a lot about Leeds, but I've been in the last three, three days. It's a great city. I mean, like, I was out for a lovely bit of dinner last night, you know, and like, being the southerner, you sort of get the impression that Leeds is just like any other city, but it's not. It's massive for one. Two, it's vibrant. You know, three, it's a great atmosphere. There's a great buzz around the city. And now, you know, we've been here for the darts. You know, we had nine thousand for the darts here, and it was the same kind of atmosphere. It's a wonderful arena as well, with set up with tiers and stuff like that. And there's actually another tier beyond what you could see tonight, but, and that takes you up to sort of nine thousand. For a world title, any fight after that is going backwards because okay. you're not going to get bigger than a fight in New York, Brooklyn for a world title. So, my, my fight was always going to be my next fight was always going to be a step backwards, and it's an eight rounder starting in Leeds. And I'm going to prove to people that I belong, you know, no disrespect to, to where I'm fighting, but I, I'm going to prove that I'm better than an eight rounder. You know, I, I want to, um, I should be fighting 12 rounders for titles, and that's what I'll get back to. So he always sends me a letter, and the letter he sent me after the Dimitri Sandre fight was what helped me. It helped me get back in the gym, get back on the saddle, uh, and it really did help me because um, although he might not think I read the letters, I, I, I do, and it, meant, it, it means so much to me. Um, I'm not the best at writing the letters back, so I always bring him back on my mum. <laughs> I feel great, uh, you know, I don't get many knockouts, so it's always nice to get an early night. Um, it's the best I've ever felt, you know. Um, I think people going into the fight, the pundits will be questioning how he's going to come back from um, fighting for a world title and, and such a one-sided affair, you know, because I, I did get beat up on the night. Um, I totally froze. Um, but looking at that, um, I've shook it off and I've jumped back on the saddle and that's what I needed to do. Um, no one can question my character and my heart. I'm, I'm back and I'm back with a bang. I'm fighting on 22nd of November on the Cleverly Bellevue Bill. Um, so it's going to have to be a bigger fight. It's pay-per-view, so they're going to have to make it for a title or um, something significant like a, an eliminator. Um, but I'll, I'll leave that job to Eddie. He's, um, he's matched me well so far, apart from Dimitri Sandrade. <laughs> but I was mandatory for that title. I had to fight him. But... He's, um, I'll leave it to him. I, he'll get me the big fights, um, and and it will be a bigger fight on the Cleverly Bell. You, that's all I know. Um, it'll be a, a better, better opponent and a bigger fight. <laughs>
Yeah, just not. Yeah. Just not. Because he's here. 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 He's Don't lose your head, you know, because it's very easy when you walk out and you look around and everyone's going, come on, to, to, to fight with emotion. And he didn't. And that's, for someone as young as him, that's really most most impressive, is that he keeps his core, he sticks to a game. With that atmosphere, I thought I had to go out there and uh, first round make a statement and, you know, show that, you know, the fans that I'm, I'm ready to match their atmosphere, if that makes sense, you know. Um, after when I got back to uh, corner after the first round, I'd give me a bollocking and says, you know, calm it down a little bit and pick your punches a little bit more. Because I was, I did set out for a good pace, but um, you know, after the second round, I, I caught him with a couple of good body shots, and I think uh, I think I'd hurt him enough, and I could sense that it won't last long. Accuracy is, is sensation, and it's like an accumulation of punches. And then before you know it, you've got seven or eight on it. I'd fight Johnny Gonzalez in an 8 on air tomorrow if, if, they, you know, if they ask for it, but you know, it's all about progression in it and I'm, I'm only 23 and I'm learning, I'm not on peak for another couple of years yet, so you know, just slow it down a little bit and take it steady.